and we're back with another video. Welcome, guys. Uh, this is a this is an epi this is another episode. So I've been working on this for the past uh, however long it took me to upload this. I assume like a week. Um, and so I decided to do a uh, Spider-Man versus a few villains that I've either never drawn or just wanted to draw. And now that I think about it, only three of these I had never drawn. Um, this one was obviously, this one was Spider-Man versus the Prowler. Now, I chose the Prowler for, I don't know why, it's, it's cool. Um, I was just kind of, uh, drawing it. And I like it. It's it turned out pretty good, but it is. I think all of them are. I think all of these drawings are good, but this one's probably my least favorite because it's just meh to me. Like I really didn't put that much effort into the armor, as you'll see later. Um, but this is the only one that had the pop cross uh, art style. Uh, but I don't. I don't I don't use it for the any of the others. Um, and I use like I use this kind of technique where it's just like I only I just use black and like white to put it there. It looks good. It they just look very bright. Now this one, this one I messed up on the first time. So this is so it's kind of a funny story. Not really. So, I had been working all day on this. It was supposed... It's uh, Symbiote Spider-Man versus the Hobgoblin. So, I created this new Hobgoblin design. It's using the Fortnite Green Goblin design. Because I like that design. Um, But then, when I was trying to fix uh, the symbiote spider-man as you'll see in a bit i'm i use this thing where i um where basically i add gray to the parts that are supposed to be like intercepting uh you'll see in a bit when i start coloring because i decided to use black this time and it looks good yeah you kind of see it right there but it's but some parts of the outline are gray. Uh, you'll see in a bit because uh, I passed it, but I added the image afterwards, so that's fun. I had the image of the finished picture. Yeah, you can see it there. Look at the leg right there. Uh, that's gray. So, uh,. So I was fixing that because I needed to fix like the jaw, but then I messed up. It would I messed up on the inking uh, page, and it wouldn't let me go back. It does that sometimes, and it's very annoying. But um, I did it again, and I still love how it turned out. Um, yeah, I did that with the cape. I like decided to like spend time giving musculature to. Spidey and like giving design, giving like proper lighting to Hobgoblin, uh, and it turned out really good. I mean, look, just look at him. Now this one, this one was pretty fun because uh, obviously I've drawn Miles before, just he hasn't been the main focus uh, in one of my draw in any of my drawings before. Um, so I, so this one, uh, semi-inspired by Spider-Man 2, uh, again, it was, um, it's, uh, Miles versus Venom. Now, I kind of do this perspective twice in one of my videos, I'll say, it, in two of the drawings. What was that? I think an earthquake just passed. Anyways, um, yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. Um, he's, it's kind of based off of, is this moving? 
Oh, yeah, it is. I'm just adding the gray. I forgot. I was, like... <laughs> I got a little confused, because it doesn't really look like anything's happening. Um, but... It is. Don't worry. <laughs> uh... I really like how this turned out. It It's kind of a combined of... It's kind of like a combination of a few drawings that I have... That I... Like, a few suits that I've seen... So, like, the red on the arms is supposed to be, like, with the PS5 suit. Those weird little lines on the uh, hip re area in the boots. That was based off of a concept I saw and I liked. Uh, and also, I think using the black for Venom actually made it look really good. It made it look comic accurate because I didn't use blue. Even though that would work for what I was trying to do. But I realized uh, while I was making the gray lines, I was like, oh yeah, I'm making two uh, characters with black suits. And I was just like, this is annoying. Um, but it still turned out really good, I think. Yeah, I decided to... I wanted to like make them look like actual humans. Oh yeah, and I did this thing. So, yeah, you see how I just filled that in? But there was, but nothing on the uh, arm like muscles happened. I did this thing where I would create a new layer uh, on top of this, like, so like below the like purple with the shading. I would create a layer and then do the lighting, and then merge them down. Now this one was fun because I got to draw Spider-Man 2099, and while I was drawing this, I was watching Across the Spider-Verse on my phone. Uh, and it was really fun, and I love that movie. I've watched it four times already. Uh, yeah. It's a good movie, and I don't know how many times I've watched Into the Spider-Verse. I lost count, because it came out in 2018, and then I watched it, like, I don't know, like, I want to say, like, 30 times in total, uh, over the years, but, like, I watched it, like, maybe, like, 15 or something times on Netflix. I don't know. It, it's just a really good movie. 15, 25, like, 26, I think, because, yeah. No, way. I would watch it 25, then one on, eh, I don't know. It was fun, though. Uh, and this one, I created an entirely new brush for the lines there but then I removed them I'm not sure if I ever put them back actually uh, I might do that right after um, but this Mysterio I like it because I like this Mysterio because you can't really tell like it, if you look you can't really tell if the Mysterio is a man or a woman which I like that just like if you want to ask me like which one Whatever one you want. Oh yeah, I was trying to remove the clouds because I looked at because they're the same color, but I just decided against it. Now I don't, un I, I didn't understand how Miguel's like shading worked, but I think I did a good job. Um, cause like the black looks really good. I just added lighting to the red, and that's it. I also like how his web turned out because, like I said, it's based off of Across the Spiders. Now this one. My most recent one. This one, I'm really proud of the pose. It got changed. So this one got changed. The villain that Spidey was fighting was changed three times. At first, it was Hammerhead. Then, it was Tombstone. Then, it was Mr. Neg. Well, no. It was Hammerhead, then Mr. Negative, then Tombstone, then Mr. Negative. Yeah, look at that. that not good. Anyways. I imported the sword that I drew. Um made it look really good um and i already had drawn a spider-man noir so i already had the i already had the uh colors ready now i did this thing where uh i'm not sure when it's gonna show up should show up soon uh where like i would go in i have and use like the oh it's not on I didn't use it for Spider-Man Noir. Uh, I tried to add spotlights and I add, added a blimp, 
So it looks like I'm just filling it in, but in reality, I used the thing where like you can like I don't I don't know what it's called. This it's a tool. It's not you can like freehand and then fill it in and it looks really cool. So I did that for a bit of this. Um but then I did that for Mr. Negative and he it worked pretty good. Um and I decided against going all black for the shading for uh, Noir, even though uh, it looks good. I'll see y'all later.